today, Kilroy goes off the shelf on inserts. You know those things in the paper that you get where it has uh, coupons for food and got a lot of food. I'm getting hungry. Food, food. Yeah, all these are food. Oh, well, Bed Bath & Beyond. We got to have plenty of Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, Kohl's. You know, all those kind of inserts. Well, those are called freestanding inserts in the biz or in the nomenclature of retail but i'm not talking about those kind of inserts i'm talking about the stuff that you get in your war games and this really kind of goes back to my days of of starting out with avalon hill and avalon hill always had an insert of some sort you had stuff like you know a little mini catalog or a little you know advertisement about what their games are of course you know this had the prices as well you know you can see there look at that flight leader 20 bucks quad leader 20 bucks or 30 bucks wow but they always had a catalog like avalon hill games and parts price list and um you know i used to You'd throw these away or, or get rid of them. Uh, I guess sometimes I might even order from them. But, you know, I, I now I try to keep them when I get in there because I think this is kind of nostalgia. Uh, and I might actually do a segment on this at some point. But, you know, you had little catalogs that came in here. There's all kinds of, you know, price lists that came in here. You know, here's the Avalon Hill catalog from uh, effective February 15th, 1986. And, and Avalon Hill always had this, like, do a friend a favor. You know, get him to sign up. And it was a little bit, little bit of a... A fill out card, you know, a, a customer uh, survey there, and you know, a little postcard, and then they had an ad for General Magazine, but then they had, you know, a full catalog, and you had your little order form in there inside the catalog. Uh, and here's one from '87 with the, you know, the order form in there, and the, and this is Victory Games. By then they had Victory Games, and Victory Games had its own little feedback card that it had there and then of course avalon hill went to color look at this look at that color so you had a little color catalog and a price list and what have you so you had you know all kinds of inserts in these games and then of course you know you had the fill out card and the order sheet and the like you know and and that's been kept up by others in the industry uh compass games you know has their catalog that they send out every year these come in the their their games at times uh, but then they also, you know, you can get on their mailing list and get this. And now with online, you get this stuff, you know, online all the time now, too. Uh, but, you know, they're not the only ones that that put, you know, catalogs in their games. But again, most things are are kind of online now. Uh, you know, if you go to Academy Games, you know, they have their little full color, you know, ads here. That's, you know, kind of a catalog. It gives you the order number and the description and the price and what have you. And here's a little letter when I got the game, uh, Strike of Eagle, but it had a little ad there for it. And then, you know, when I got Conflict of Heroes, you get uh, an ad for One Small Step. And then, of course, here's a little bit of their upcoming uh, games and a little bit of uh, their price list. And you can, order, of course, order this online because everything's gone to online now. Uh, you know, magazine games are not uh, alone in this uh, either. You know, the Against the Odd magazine always has, you know, little advertisements or talks about their games uh they also have the related uh turning point simulations related uh publishing game company has their ads and then you have ads for full games here here's stalingrad you know and uh you know against the odds and uh, all kinds of inserts that come in there and of course with against the odds you know, you get uh, against odds magazines. You get all the uh, the postcard games that come along with there as well. And even in against odds, you get ads for other game systems. Here's uh, uh, another uh, game system and a different game company. They had an ad for uh, for that, and this is the Clash of Arms. And speaking of, of Clash of Arms, you get um, you know they have inserts as well. Here's uh, Army of the Heartland. They had their little return. Uh, questionnaire this looks kind of very vaguely uh, similar to Avalon Hills and then they had the sign up for their newsletter for Civil War Gaming and then of course you know had some descriptions about their ads and a little bit of a catalog list there as well 
of, you know, Legion games. Legion games, you know, you get a nice little thank you note from the owners. That's I always appreciated. But then you get a little, you know, this is good cardstock. I wish all games would put this on, player aids on this stuff. But you have a little ad for the games that they have in their system. Uh, you get that in the games as well. And then, you know, Columbia Games is not alone in this or, or not, 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 not to miss out on this. You know, they have little catalog price list that they have in their games as well with a description of the game. Again, this is something of a, of a becoming a little bit archaic with online. So you don't necessarily need to do this as much, but uh, some of this is like a form of marketing. Here is uh, Napoleon, uh, Napoleon's Quagmire from uh, OOSG or the Library of Napoleonic Games. Of course, they're advertising uh, their games that they have in their system as well. And here's a couple of couple of them, a couple of those advertisements. So uh, I didn't really have much for lock and load. I got a bookmark that came in one of my things for lock and load. So I mean, what do you guys think about these inserts? You know, the, the, is this nostalgia? The catalogs? I mean, with online and most of these publishers have their own online um, ordering systems, and plus you there's distributors you go through as well. So this is really kind of gone the way of the dodo. It's not used as much anymore or needed as much anymore. Uh, the marketing of putting stuff in there, you know, that's, you know, typical. And, you know, with social media and all the different, you know, what we're looking at right now and all those other different uh, mediums of which you can get the word out, you know, is this really effective, you know, putting a brochure in there of telling about their updated games? You know, what do you guys think? You like inserts? Is it a mess? Do you treat them like freestanding inserts and they just kind of go in the coupon bin? Or do you hang on to them and they become part of the game and part of the package of what you bought? And so you have the complete package or is it just kind of uh i don't need to look at that and it's just it takes up room inside the box what do you guys think <laughs>